dab it on my skin I'm using the butt that way I have more surface area and do you see that <laughs> after a very very long time I am gonna be teaching you guys something so in this video I am gonna be showing you how I get that perfect looking smooth skin base makeup look now this particular technique is something that I have been doing religiously and I'm an oily skin type so there are certain steps that I like to do so that my makeup lasts all day and it looks flawless untraceable natural all of that good stuff so yeah this particular video is going to be a very in-depth step-by-step tutorial because I'm going to be showing you every step why I do it how I do it and what tools I use what techniques I use so yeah it can be a little bit longer because I'm going to be explaining everything in detail so I think let's quickly get started but before going please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time I upload a video now let's get started now the first thing that I like to do is a very important step that no one of like none of us should miss before doing our makeup that is hydration hydration is the key for your makeup to look absolutely flawless and it creates like a barrier on the skin on which when you apply makeup your skin will not get damaged i'm going to moisturize my skin for that i am going to be using my clinique moisture surge i have been using this since years so i like to take like a good amount of this and just apply it on my skin I only apply moisturizer I don't go ahead and apply anything else this just does the job of hydrating my skin and underneath my makeup like this helps in prepping my skin really well so yeah like you can see my skin looks so supple and bouncy and I am of course gonna wait like a couple of minutes for it to get absorbed into my skin completely and then I'm gonna move on to the next step now the next step is priming now priming is a very important step for me because i have oily skin so i need to use a primer that will make my makeup last all day long will help in blurring out my pores and not making me oily in my t-zone one of my absolute favorite primers is this elf poreless putty primer now this is what it looks like it has this balmy texture to it it literally blurs out my skin along with adding a little bit of hydration and that tackiness to which my foundation will grip onto and will make it last long another one which is good is this one this is the maybelline fit me matte plus poreless primer this is for normal to oily skin now this is also again a primer that helps in blurring out my pores adding a little bit of hydration and that stickiness that I need I'm just going to show you it has a very very moisturizing texture but once it gets absorbed into the skin it just gives me this very smooth looking base on which like my foundation really blends beautifully and just gives me this very flawless blurred application so this is another primer that i love using another primer that i've been loving currently is this one this is the nyx plump right back plumping serum plus primer now again this has that hydrating texture to it but at the same time it has this tacky texture like you can see it's very translucent very hydrating very cooling on the skin but once it is completely absorbed it has this tacky texture to it which helps in gripping my foundation and making it last long so these three primers are really good for my oily skin so today i am going to be using my elf poreless putty primer so what i like to do is i will take it on my fingers this helps in warming the product as well and i'll start pushing this in my t-zone right on my nose first like you can see so this is gonna give me like a very very smooth looking poreless skin right on my nose because i do have quite a lot of pores on my nose then i go on my chin again these are like my problem areas where i have large pores so i make sure that i'm pressing it into my skin and this is where i get oily as well and then my forehead 
and now we are going to move on to the next step that is foundation now for foundation i have a couple of options that i like to use on my oily skin one of my ride or die foundations is this nika's all day matte foundation this is for normal to combination skin and this is matte and long wearing now this particular foundation has like a soft matte finish it has a medium to full coverage and it blends like a dream on my skin this is such a good foundation and it looks so flawless it looks natural at the same time very very smooth the other foundation that i absolutely love is this one from mac this is the studio studio fix fluid foundation and my shade is nc40 this is again a soft matte finish foundation again looks beautiful on the skin very skin like looking foundation and performs really well very long lasting on my oily skin and another foundation this particular one this is my maybelline fit me matte plus poreless foundation this is for normal to oily skin and my shade is 228 soft tan again this is a beautiful looking foundation like for everyday wear this is an amazing foundation blends very easily lasts all day on my oily skin and just looks beautiful even to the naked eye and photographs really well as well so these are three foundations that work really well on my oily skin so today i am of course going to use my nika's all day matte foundation now what i like to do is first shake it up the shade that i use is nutmeg 09 which is like the perfect match for me and i will go ahead and pump like two pumps on the back of my hand like that take it on my fingers first dot it on my skin now this helps in controlling how much foundation i need on my skin so i first like to dot it this is something that i've been doing since a very long time like i first dot my foundation and then go ahead and blend it with my beauty blender or my brush and then I am going to go ahead and blend it out with my makeup sponge. This is from Prosh. This is something that I've been using since years and I absolutely love it. It's very soft and squishy and it is damp right now. You want to make sure that you blend your foundation with a damp sponge or you can go ahead and blend it out with a brush if you are comfortable with a brush and you like a brush application this one is something that i've been using quite a lot this is a pack 231 brush blends foundation concealer everything beautifully dab it on my skin i'm using the butt that way i have more surface area and do you see that this foundation just blends beautifully next step is concealing my dark circles and spots or spot correcting all of that stuff so for that i like to use these two concealers now i use any of them depending on my mood this is the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish in the shade medium sand now this is a full coverage concealer so a little bit goes a long way with this one but it's a beautiful flawless lightweight hydrating concealer underneath my eyes the other one that is really good is this one from k beauty this is i think uh, the hd concealer i'm not really sure what this is called but my shade is 140y medium now this is again a hydrating concealer has a medium to full coverage very lightweight and blends beautifully i like to apply it here right underneath because as you can see i have a lot of darkness right here so it's gonna cover that up and right here so it just is gonna have that lifting effect and then i like to go ahead and apply it around my mouth a little bit because i have darkness going on right here and right here as well just to brighten the center of my face then also on my nose and my forehead so this is going to help in brightening my face a little bit as well because this particular shade is just like just a hint lighter than my skin tone so i'm gonna take the butt and just gonna again stamp it into my skin in place and first i'm gonna blend like around my mouth and my t-zone and the last thing that i'm gonna blend is underneath my eyes because i want maximum coverage underneath my eyes 
and around my mouth and t-zone i just want a little bit of coverage do you see that like i have like really even tone but a little bit brightened look right in the center of my face and again dabbing motions you do not want to drag your concealer you just want to dab it in place and blend it out and i'm going to blend it upwards so that it gives me a little bit of a lifted effect do you see that and i will just blend it out in my inner corners as well the next step is cream contouring that? i have been loving cream contour like cream bronzer cream contour is something that i love doing so for that i like using a couple of products that i have with me so firstly i have this particular one this is the rare beauties bronzer stick in the shade always sunny this is like my absolute favorite cream contour cream bronzer shade cuz it is more on the warmer side and it just gives me that sun kissed look and it is such a beautiful formula and then another one that is my favorite is this one this is from nude sticks this is the nude sticks nudies matte all over face bronzing color in the shade terracotta tan so this is what it looks like now this is again a very beautiful warm cream bronzer shade like you can see it's a little bit lighter than the rare beauty one so i have to build up this particular one a little bit but it is a very very beautiful bronzer very lightweight builds beautifully blends beautifully but today i am going to use my rare beauty one cuz i want to show you how beautiful this particular bronzer is so you can definitely go ahead and just you know directly put it on the face or you can use your brush take it from the brush and just you know stamp it on the skin I am going to take it on my brush and this is very pigmented so like a little bit will go a long way and I will start like stamping it into my skin just like that and I'm going to build this product up and like you can see I am placing it in the hollows of my cheeks and blending it upwards this way it just gives me a lifted effect and this contoured angle like this angle just helps in blending my bronzer in place and then i like to also apply it on my forehead right here okay and then i will just apply it right on my double chin just to cancel it out and just on my jawline to sharpen it a little bit and then for my nose contour i like to use this brush is the pack 272 brush it is an angled brush like so it's an angled dense brush and then i will just contour my nose as well using this cream bronzer Now the next step is a liquid or a cream blush. Now this is something that I absolutely love doing. The first one that I have is the Makeup Revolutions Liquid Blush. It's called as a blush bomb, and the shade is Rose Lust. This is a beautiful, beautiful liquid blush, and the shade is so pretty. It's like that mauvey pink tone shade. Another one that I absolutely love, and I've been using this since. Yours now. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Bronze Color, but this one is in the shade Sun Kiss. This is a warm nude colored blush, and it looks really good on my medium skin. Look at that! It's so pretty. Another one that I have been loving is this particular one from Elf. This is their Putty Blush, which was just released, and this is in the shade Caribbean. Now this is a little bit of a deeper shaded. color and this has a matte look to it and a little bit goes a long way cuz it's really pigmented now this adds a very fresh pop of color to my cheeks so on days when i want my cheeks to look really radiant and 
right this is what i use and again the formula is really good on this elf putty blush but today i am going to be using this particular one from makeup revolution i like to dot it on my cheeks really high on my cheeks right here like three dots right here and then i like to blend this out with this brush from elf this is their buffing foundation brush this is what i like to use to blend my blush so i will just start stamping this into my skin and blending this out and melting the bronzer shade and the blush shade together so that there are no harsh lines do you see that it had such a beautiful pinky mauvey shade to my cheeks and like you can see it's very pigmented as well so for setting i like to use a translucent powder this particular one is from k beauty this is their hd setting loose powder and my shade is latte there are different shades in this particular loose powder mine is latte which suits me perfectly so translucent powders are very very lightweight set the makeup beautifully make the skin look super blurred like you have a filter and just make everything last all day because of the technique that i'm going to use now for applying this particular setting powder i have been using this puff from pack yeah this is a triangle puff from pack this is something that you need so that your makeup is going to last all day i am going to take this particular powder and going to press this puff into this can you see that and i am gonna first set underneath my eyes by pressing this powder into my skin just like that pressing motion so that it does not move it does not budge and here i am not baking i don't need to bake when i am using this pressing technique because I am taking quite a bit of powder and just pressing it into my skin just like that and do you see I have this very blurred looking under eyes right here my t-zone in this technique by taking a little bit of excess powder and just pressing it into my skin I have taken a little bit excess in my t-zone because that's where i start getting oily the most i'm just gonna press it on my forehead so that nothing moves and the bridge of my nose and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take like a little bit of this powder just remove the excess you don't want too much of it and just gonna lightly set around my face so that the cream products are set in place do you see that and this will just ensure that my bronzer my blush lasts all day like very lightly literally i'm just lightly touching this puff on my skin so that nothing moves underneath now that we are done with setting the makeup, I'm just going to do my eyes, I'm going to fill in my brows and I'll be right back to show you the next step. Now that we have set our base and I've done my brows, my eyes, I've applied some lipstick, let's move on further to the next step. The next step is something that I love doing that is just applying a little bit more bronzer and adding more color to my face giving me that sun-kissed look so for that i like to use either my hula bronzer this is the hula benefit the original one this is something that i've been using since years and i love love the shade of this because it just adds that chisel look as well as the warm another bronzer that i've been loving lately is this one from rimmel this is the natural bronzer in the shade sunset again this is a beautiful warm tone bronzer and for that i like to use this brush from pack itself it's the face s1 brush it is flat and fluffy like that so i'm gonna go in with my rimmel bronzer just a little bit tap it out and just add a little bit more warmth to my cheeks
and then of course I am gonna add a little bit of more blush because I love a good blush I like my blush to be really poppy so the one that I like to pair with this particular makeup revolution one is this one from Bobbi Brown this is a Bobbi Brown blush in the shade tawny it's again that mauve colored shade so it goes perfectly with this cream blush so for this I am using this brush from Morphe it's an angled fluffy brush you'll get such brushes on Nykaa there are a lot of different brands that make such fluffy angled brushes these are really good to apply blush so I'm just gonna take like a little bit because it's very pigmented and I'm just gonna like top it off like really lightly holding the brush really far away so that I don't get a very harsh application just a little bit to make it pop do you see that same thing on the other side okay so we are almost done there is one important step that I like to do before I apply my highlighter is set this makeup in place because we have layered it with quite a few powders so you want to melt everything to everything together and get absorbed into the skin very well and just make it look very smooth and also setting makes it last all throughout the day so setting is a very very like setting spray is a very important step i am going to use my mac prep plus prime fix plus i'm going to keep it like a good you know two feet away from me and just spray a generous amount of this let it dry now I'm going to apply one of my absolute favorite highlighters. This one is from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. This is the one that I reach out for the most. Like I have so many highlighters but this one is just too good. The brush that I use, I know a lot of you guys ask me what brush I use to apply my highlighter. This is the Pack 094 brush. I've been using this particular brush since years now. So I like to take it on the brush tap out the excess and then I'm gonna apply it right at the highest points of my cheeks right here do you see that like naturally the light is hitting right here so that's where I am gonna apply it very lightly back and forth and I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna blend this highlighter really well because I want it to look like I'm blinding someone but at the same time it just looks like skin like my skin is glowing a little bit on the forehead right here that's where the light hits me and that's where i don't get oily do you see that so i'll just take like a small pencil brush like so apply it on the nose like an exclamation mark <laughs> get my perfect flawless smooth skin looking makeup base routine i hope you guys learned from this video i hope that this was helpful to you guys if you all have any questions you all can ask me in the comment section below i will definitely help you guys out and i know it's a lot of steps but trust me this is like foolproof and budge proof it's gonna last you 24 hours whether you are partying whether you're under the sun you're sweating you're oily all of that stuff i've got you covered this is gonna last you throughout the day so yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you all did like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends who feel like they don't know how to do their base makeup and how to make it look smooth and flawless and untraceable and all of that stuff definitely share it with them i am gonna go now and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video very soon until then bye